Good morning, everybody. Goodness, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. It's about 8.20 on uh, Tucson, Arizona. It's about 75 degrees outside. His weather is wonderful. Okay, fantastic weather. Let's see, I, I, I'm glad you guys are here this morning. If you are new to the, our uh, daily live streaming, uh, unscripted, most of the times spontaneous, and uh, sometimes I have no idea what we're going to talk about on, like five minutes before. So this morning, so here's what we're going to do. Okay, this morning I'm going to, uh, so we have, uh, I got the, another two motions set up here. I have the Bravo Booster Pro and Express, not the Express. Uh, uh, this is quick meal, dual boiler, okay? And then I'm going to be, I'm not going to compare this morning, but uh, you know what, let's, you know, let's try to figure out how to make better coffee with the Bravo Booster Pro, okay? Because this machine, the Pro, is capable of making great coffee in the morning. So I'm going to show you some of my, uh, kind of like my tips and tricks over the years I've been uh, collected. So yeah, so let's do that this morning. Uh, again, if you are new to the channel, make sure to join the chat, okay? We have a great group of friends in the chat room. So yeah, just introduce yourself and just, you know, chit chat. And then we talk about coffee. That's it, that's it. We only talk about coffee, nothing else. So uh, just make sure you press like on the videos as well. So it looks like we have friends from all over the world this morning. We have Singapore, Malaysia, France, Canada, uh, Puerto Rico as well, looking at, looking at it. Okay, let's see here. We have uh, California, friends from California. Yeah, it's great, okay. All right, so uh, how to make great coffee with the Bravo Brewsta Pro. Okay, the great thing about the Pro, whenever you start the machine, is it ready to brew in about five to five seconds, okay? Turns right off. And then, uh, even like steaming as well, steaming power, watch this. Even steam, if you, you wait about like three seconds, kicks in. As you can see, steaming power is pretty decent. Not bad. So, I know uh, with uh, this machine like a quick meal, you have to warm it, uh, warm it up in about like 30 minutes or so. So you're gonna get a great shot. Because you want to heat up the uh, boiler, not boiler, all the, group, the E61 group head as well. But with the Bravo Booster Pro, it's, uh, we are not using the uh, uh, boiler, thermal jet, okay? If you're on for 10 minutes or 30 minutes or 40 minutes, that's making a difference. It doesn't get heat up, okay? Because the only way to heat up your group head is you have to do some couple dummy shots. So, so here's the first trick for you. So one of you ready to make coffee, just make sure, just make sure you heat up your powder filter, okay? Just, just, just heat it up, okay? It, I like to do that about a couple of times, uh, one, one or two times, and they bring it up the temperature. So let me show you what he meant by that. So now I'm at about 83 degree, 85. Uh, compared to quick mirror, I've been warming up for the last 45 minutes. 112 degree, okay, make a big difference. I mean, so make a huge difference in, and also even port filter as well. There's always 92 degree, okay. Port filter, let's lock it in. With Bravo Booster Pro, uh, it's 98 degree. Because we just heat it up with all the hot water. So watch this. If I'm gonna heat it up with hot water here, like so. Bring out 150 degree. Okay. So again, especially if you are dealing with like lighter roast. Hold on, let me lock it in here for a second. There we go. Yeah, some reason I'm having a hard time this morning. There we go. 
So again, just, just make sure heat up your uh, port filter hot as possible, okay. Like so. So that's the key. Uh, th this morning I'm gonna make coffee with, uh, so this is the mirror coffee from Ethiopia. Very fruity, fantastic. Uh, tasting note is blackberry, cane sugar, and flour. Oh, the thing about uh, this is more like light to medium. So whenever you guys are dealing with the light to medium, just make sure, uh, check your temperature on your menu bar, okay? Especially if you have pro. Right now we are at different temperature. So we're gonna go all the way to the hot, okay? Okay, we're just gonna go all the way to the hot there. And then I'm gonna do another dummy shots. Just, just make sure we got the So thermal jet is bringing up to the proper temperature. So again, we do waste some little water. Actually, we're gonna we are wasting quite a quite a water there as well. So, but that's the best way to bring up the temperature. Now we are bringing up to about one or seven, and then we're gonna do that one more time before for the shot. All right. So you know what? Let's get going. Okay. So this morning, uh, I'm just gonna use my built-in grinder. Okay, even though we have a niche grinder, but since this is more like probably the pro, how to make better coffee with the pro. So, uh, comes to grinder setting. I know so many of you are asking me about who and what's the best grinder setting. There is no magic number for especially grinder size. Okay, that's something you have to adjust it every single morning. So this one, I'm happen to be, I'm set at number 12 right now. That doesn't mean it's going to work but we're gonna do it anyway. And then if he doesn't, if I don't get a good shot, and then I'm gonna adjust from there as well. So again, I'm not gonna use my niche. I'm just gonna use my built-in grinder. Okay, and then let's get going. So by the way, I'm using the, my single dose option from uh, Amazon there. So uh, this modification, I've been using it for what? A couple months. I mean, it work, works pretty good, okay. I'm just gonna heat up one more time, okay? I'm gonna heat up one more time. One more time there. All right. Okay, I think, uh, by the way, uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome to our daily live streaming. And then just make sure, you know what, press like on the video and join the chat, okay? Uh, I'm looking at your chats right now. Uh, I'm gonna big shout out to Ice Rockets. Uh, Ice Rocket asked me, Hoon, can you move on from Bravo uh, machines? Ice Rocket, I'm sorry to tell you, I don't think I can move on from Bravo, okay? I think the reason why people are watching my channel because of my Bravo video, so I cannot abandon the team, okay? so. Yes, I cannot left anybody behind. So, so here's what we're gonna do, okay? So, we are going to we are going to keep making Bravo videos, and then and then we are going to add on like you know newer machine, okay? So we're gonna do both, okay? I know some of you are sick of me watching Bravo machine, but I have to say, still, I mean, I still like it, okay? I still like the machine. All right. Okay. Especially we are uh, dealing with a lighter roast. Especially we are dealing with a lighter roast. Again, just make sure heat up the uh, heat up. You cannot heat up the Bravo Brace Stop Pro. Uh, 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 Express does. You can actually heat up the Express because they are using the thermal block. So thermal jet, everything is so fast. Yeah, you can uh, heat it up the grill pad or nothing. Even like uh, warming tray there, it doesn't get hot either. Okay, but obviously if you are using the real machine like this, everything is uh, nice and hot. So okay, I'm just gonna use my WDT tool here, 3D print. We are using the bottomless pore filter. Okay, just like so. 
I got my tamping tool set up in the this corner. Okay. Just do my regular distributions setup. All right. So let's pull the shot. This is our first shot. Ethiopia. So pretty much here is what we did. Okay, if you're just joining us, uh, especially you, you guys are using the lighter roast, do the couple dummy shots before, okay, with a uh, pro, okay? Probably it's express, maybe one, but with pro, maybe two dummy shots. So you make sure you're going everything nice and hot. Hot is good. And then also, change the water temperature as well, uh, especially uh, you are using the light to medium. I think you're gonna get a better coffee out of it, okay? So let's pull the shot here this morning. So you got 18 gram in, comes to ratio, do whatever, okay? It could be one to two, one to three, just whatever you like. And then it comes to extraction time, all depends on your taste. So it's you know, anywhere between 25 and 35 seconds. I'm just going to do the shot. I think I'm going to do the about 5 second pre-infusion, maybe 5 to 10 second pre-infusion there. So let's take a look. Okay. Let's take a look. Maybe it's seven second pre-infusion. Shot looks pretty good. No channeling there as well. Okay, by the way, we are using the built-in grinder too, so. Thirty-one seconds. Okay. Yeah, you know what? It looks pretty good, I have to say. I think we got lucky on this one. Yeah, we got 38 gram wood around 35 seconds. More like, uh, more like, like 32 seconds. Yeah, you know, let's try the shot. Okay. Let's see, let's try the... So this is uh, Ethiopia coffee beans from the Mirror Coffee from Washington State. Okay. So I'm looking for tasting notes. Blackberry, cane sugar, and floral, okay, which means it's gonna be a lot of kind of free note, not the free, but like floral note there. Cheers. Pretty good, okay. It's nice and hot. It's quite nice, it's quite nice. You know, I'm curious, okay, since we got the shot here, uh, let's pull the shot from the quick meal, okay? Let, let's see, you know, yeah, you know what? Let's see. Uh, we're gonna do one more time with quick meal here. Uh, we're gonna do the exactly same. Yeah, we're gonna do the other same. 18 gram. By the way, if you guys are looking at new machine, just make sure, make sure, consider your uh, counter space as well, because it doesn't matter how good your coffee machine is, if your machine is not fit on your kitchen, yeah, it'd be, it'd be shame. Okay, I'm just gonna heat up. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna do another WDT session right here. Uh, it does help with, uh, especially bottomless. Whenever you're using spout, it's not that big of a deal, but 
but especially bottomless pore filter. Yeah. I'm using my force temper and puck screen. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at it, guys. Let's take a look. I'm gonna do about like five second pre infusion there. Just just simply just to lift it. And then give it a go. Shot looks beautiful. I'm shooting for again around 36 gram. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Man, looks fantastic, guys. Again, this is the Ethiopia coffee beans from the Mira coffee. Tasting notes, blackberry, cane sugar, and flour. Let's give it a try. Okay. Cheers. Yeah, it smells, it smells delicious. Okay, man. I have to say, I mean, I, I wish some of you are here, I mean, taste the shot. Yes, uh, this shot from Quick Meal with the dual boiler is, tastes much better. But is that $3,000 better? No, it's not. Uh, so this shot is, okay, so this one, we pulled the shot with the built-in grinder, okay? Built-in grinder with, so built-in grinder is, I believe, like 52 millimeter flapper or 48 millimeter. It's not that big, okay? Compared to this is 63 millimeter, the conical, they're both conical burr. 63 millimeter conical burr from the Coney uh, Mazer. Okay, Mazer, the burr set there. The, the burr set is more like commercial grades. They're fantastic. So, the, so this shot, obviously, if you guys are watching my channel, give you more, more texture and more body to it. You know, and also all the brightness as well from the it's really nice, okay? Very nice shot, well balanced. This shot from Bravo Vista Pro, still great, okay? But it's about, what, 90%, okay? If this is 100%, uh, shot from Bravo Vista Press, uh, Bravo Vista Pro is about 90%. As long as you just make sure you dial them properly with the grinder size, okay? Uh, change the water temperature like I showed you earlier. Just bring up the temperature and do the proper warm up on your pore filter. I think I think you're there. Okay. I mean, again, I mean, if you don't have to spend three thousand dollars plus the nice grinder, so you're looking almost four thousand uh, dollars. I mean, if you guys are looking for you know eighty percent, ninety percent coffee, I mean, why spend the money on it? I mean, I think I mean that that's kind of like ultimately, I, I brought the I borrow motion from Joe from Espresso Outlet so because I like to show you guys, you don't have to have, you know, $3,000 or $2,000 coffee motion to make, you know, great coffee at home. So, I mean, I think that's the point of my channel, okay? Let's put it that way, okay? My point of my channel is you don't have to spend a lot of money to get good coffee. Not, you know, not the coffee that, you know, blew your mind, but you're going to get a good coffee, consistent coffee every single morning. So. I mean, it took me a long time to get that conclusion, okay? So because, again, I, I compare different products all the time, okay? Compare it with Express and also compare it with the Pro, even my eventually a Servia at 
uh, before I, I got rid of it. So uh, the, we are talking, we are chasing about this much, maybe like a couple, maybe 5%, okay, 5% of incremental quality, you know, the shots, maybe 5 to 10%. But if you don't care about those 5%, Whatever machine you're at home is just fine. I mean, as long as you just make sure you use the good uh, coffee, good fresh coffee, yeah, you, you are there, okay? You're gonna get about 85 to 90%, okay? All the time. So, I mean, it, it's wonderful. Wonderful to use pretty much any kind of entry level machine. You're gonna get the best out of it. So, so why machine like this? Because, because we are coffee hobbyists, okay? We love coffee. Uh, once, you, uh, once you realize that you like playing with the coffee, or you like trying uh, pl uh, try with the different recipes, and uh, with the Bravo Vista Pro, is it somewhat limited? Okay, and then maybe, if you are thinking about upgrading your machine right now, if you have a Pro or Express at home, if you guys are watching, uh, think about getting a better grinder. Start with the grinder first instead of getting a new machine. Just start with a better grinder, the grinder that you, know, you don't mind keeping for the next five to 10 years. So, so what are those grinders? Uh, niche is pretty nice, good entry level grinder. We've got the DF64 for flapper, the 64 millimeter. We've got the Eureka, the Specialita, the Mignon Serious Day as well. And the Bratza makes pretty good ones, okay? Bratza makes pretty good. So you, have, you guys have a lot of options comes to grinder, but yeah, do not skimp on grinder, okay? I think I spend money on the grinder for sure. And uh, let's see here, pretty much it. Once you got a good grinder, and you are going to see huge improvement in your shot, for sure, big time, okay? And then um, maybe move on to some other machine, but yeah, start with that, okay? I mean, don't rush into, especially during a uh, holiday is coming up. I know you guys want to spend some money on coffee machine, but start with a good grinder. Good grinder. All right. Uh, by the way, make sure you press like on the video. Okay. We got, it's about 70 of you watching right now. So I think, well, you guys, if you are living in Canada, supposedly is your Thanksgiving weekend for you guys. So happy Thanksgiving for you, uh, friends in Canada. Let's see here. Uh, Hopefully after this, okay, I'm trying to, uh, we're gonna go Instagram live, and a friend, uh, uh, friend of ours, uh, Hans and Alexander, uh, we're gonna visit them on Instagram. So that's the plan, okay? We are going to visit uh, Hans and uh, Alexander in Canada. Uh, Alexander has a spectacular setup, okay? You, have, you guys have to see it. So that's another reason you should follow me on my, my Instagram as well. Follow me on Instagram. So he has the setup that just blew your mind. If you haven't seen it, it's gonna be fantastic. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm looking at your questions. Oh, by the way, if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know, okay? I'm looking at your comments right now, so. Uh, it says, Sandy asks, is Adam 65 good enough? Sure, uh, Adam 70, uh, 65, 75, yeah, they're great. Okay, they're fantastic. They're fa fantastic grinder, okay? I mean, even like Marconi uh, just came up with, well, recently, uh, the 54 millimeter uh, flat per set, okay? They are kind of like home version of it. I think, uh, let's see, the Matt from Lifestyle Lab, uh, Matt just uh, did a video on that as well. So that's a pretty interesting grinder, okay? 54 millimeter, I don't know. I, I mean, if I'm gonna play and spending money on it, I think, good price is about $800 or so, that Marconi one. Uh, but 800 bucks for, yeah, I don't know. I guess if I spend that kind of money, I, I want the bigger bird set just because. So let's see. What else? I think we are pretty good, okay? Uh, by the way, we are almost reached $900 from uh, Super Chat Super Sticker. Okay, that's great, guys. Thank you for your support, by the way. And also one of our friends yesterday, oh, goodness, he... I forgot the name of it. Uh, he spur us like $50 on our uh, YouTube videos there. So yeah, thank you for that. Okay. I, I mean, I forgot the name, but yeah, I'm gonna big shout out to him. Uh, so to, again, the plan is uh, we are going to get 
So this machine we are looking at, the quick meal, just a loaner from Joe from Espresso Outlet. So, uh, so we're gonna get our own uh, machine. So I'm looking at around three grand or so. So a thousand bucks from your support, and then I'm gonna match another thousand and then thousand dollars from someone else. So get, get around three. I, you figure the three thousand dollar coffee machine should be good. I think that's all you need. So that is the plan because beyond that, goodness, what's out there? We got, we got the Rocket, we got R91, we have a GS3. What else? We got La Murzaco Lydia Mini there. We got the Eagle One. That's the one uh, James Hoffman involved with, with that project. Uh, pretty much it, right? I mean, that, they are the machine that kind of like uh, top of my head for the uh, between like five and six thousand dollar range. And then beyond that, we got Slayer for ten grand. So yeah, so goodness, I think once you reach this point here, around around three thousand, I think three grand is like sweet spot for the price. Uh, I'm gonna sh uh, shout out to Christopher for super chat. He said, thank you for all your help. I'm, I'm glad you guys are watching these videos, okay? I, so many people watch my older videos from way back when, goodness. I mean, how to videos on Bravo, yeah. I mean, sometimes I have to go back to my older videos to kind of like refresh myself, how to clean stuff, so yeah. It does help. Let's see here. And the cuckoo for coffee, he asked me, Hun, uh, I, am I going to get a new grinder? You know what? Yeah, some point I'm going to get a new grinder, okay? Some point I'm going to get a new grinder for sure. I don't know what though, because I have a 63 millimeter burr set here from Niche, 64 millimeter of the flapper from DF64. So I do want to try bigger burr sets, maybe like 83. So we'll see. All right, and let's see here, Flare, I think, okay, uh, let, let me know if you guys have Flare 58, okay, Flare 58 at home, because, I mean, I thought about it the other day, so if you guys want, if you guys like milk-based drink, probably Barista Pro is a spectacular machine to get, okay, for the price range, and the, but if you, got, if you guys are into espresso, Having this machine and also add it to your uh, your coffee bar, maybe Flare 58, not the regular 58, just Flare 58. And I think uh, I know Jordan has. Hey Jordan, how's the Flare 58 quality? Okay, compared to your uh, dual boiler, let me know. Okay, I would love to hear from you on your chat there. So, so I mean, I wonder. Okay, Flare 58 has the the new heating elements. So, so you don't have to worry about uh, therm thermal management. So once you have that, because I hear great things about 58 so far. So once you have the maybe like Bravo machine for your milk based drink and the flare for your uh, your espresso and get a separate grinder. Now you have the set. OK, so now you are looking at what eight hundred dollars for the pro and another five hundred dollars for the a Flare 58, so you're looking at what, 1300 bucks? And then another 700 bucks for the grinder. So now you're looking at $2,000 setup. And then you're gonna have pretty much best, uh, the best of both worlds there. Two grand though, that's a lot of money. But, okay, if you're looking at a decent machine, let's say heat exchange machine, like Rocket Apartmento or the LED, you're looking at $1,500, guys, okay? That does not have PID either. So I got the $1,500. And then with the grinder, that's another seven. So you are looking at 22. Man, that's tough, right? Yeah, yeah let me know, okay? Hey, uh, so you guys prefer heat exchange machine with a grinder setup or Pro, Flare 58, and a grinder? I don't know which one you guys prefer, okay? Yeah, let me know in the comment section too. Man, I mean, that's a tough one. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to get. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be interesting. Because uh, with uh, heat exchange machines, the shot quality is, is great, okay? I mean, it's good, because, but you have to do some kind of temperature surfing. So it's, sometimes it can be a little tricky. But with the PID, 
uh, even like Bravo Vista Pro, it, it has built-in PID. It's not the it's, it's not the really robust PID like so this one goes what default temperature plus two and plus four, but still temperature is somewhat you know consistent. This one as well, a quick meal. But with heat exchange machine, that's tricky. Okay, you have to do temperature surfing and you cannot get the temperature you want. Exact. So yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Florian mentioned uh, he likes the Express. Okay. Two to two. Okay. Uh, better machine and grinder. Okay. I mean, again, I mean, it all depends on your budget as well. So, man, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky to get uh, picking up a new uh, coffee machine. So, I mean, we are talking about it's only a handful. Okay. Handful of great machines out there. So, let's see. Uh, Marshall asked, there are many heat exchange machines with PID. Yes, uh, Marshall is correct. But you have to pay though. Okay, you have to pay uh, good money for a good heat exchange machine. So I think what, between $15 and $2,000 for the good heat, uh, heat exchange machine with PID. Let's see here. I think we are pretty good this morning. Uh, make sure to press like on the video. Make sure to support the channel, okay? Make sure to support the channel. But just, you know, uh, I think we have a uh, floor. I'm, uh, I'm looking at the last comments from you guys. I know Sandy recommends Autumn 75. Yep, Mariah X is pretty good. 1400 bucks for the Mariah X. Okay, I think. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to be jumping to Instagram. Uh, we got the Ender just joining us as well. Uh, we are going to, uh, I'm going to jump into Instagram right now. Okay, make sure to follow me on Instagram there. And hopefully Hans and Alexander is ready for us. Okay, and uh, it's going to be fun. I cannot wait for that. Uh, finally, Hans is visiting Alexander. If you, you don't know who Alexander is, his coffee bar is incredible. Okay, he has really nice coffee bar set up. So maybe uh, they can show us, uh, maybe they're going to pull the shot for us. Okay, it'll be fun. All right, I think we are good, okay? We are pretty good. And then I'm gonna see you guys on Instagram right now.